the goal of evidence-based policy is to use evidence where it exists and to build it where it doesn't. Um, and I'll give you a couple of examples of, of how this is actually getting instantiated. So one is this notion of tiered evidence funding, um, which provides small grants for new ideas worth trying, medium-sized grants to validate promising approaches with a uh, either experimental or quasi-experimental evaluation, and then large grants to scale things up that have not only demonstrated to work but are viewed as cost-effective in terms of the outcome per dollar. So uh, uh, under the Obama administration and with some bipartisan support from the Congress, more funding is being shifted in that direction. So I think the other thing uh, that's important to do is, is how can you make the federal government and the country and you know, the world as, as a whole a learning organization, an organization that is engaging in learning, that is uh, engaging in experimentation so that five or ten years from now our understanding of how to solve a particular problem is, has been advanced. Um, a second one that I would uh, point to is an increased interest in paying for outcomes as opposed to paying for inputs. 